how to set up new face filters with Lumia Stream. First, you're gonna wanna download Lumia Stream. Next, via Google Chrome, you're gonna go over to the website called Streamfog. Chrome has just been the best option for me, so that's why I suggest it. Hit the launch app button. From there, you do not need to download. You simply need to go ahead and click Legacy Browser. From here, you're gonna go ahead and sign out. Now you're gonna scroll down to integration. Click Lumia Stream. Copy and paste the remote key. Head over to Lumia Stream and add a new connection. Search for Streamfog and add it in. This is where you're gonna add your remote key to be able to connect Lumia with Streamfog. Head back over to Streamfog and choose which lenses you wanna add. You're able to select and save the filter using the star. Follow the Streamfog guide to be able to add this browser source into whichever streaming platform you're using. With all that set up, now we need to set up commands for your chats to be able to use it. Head over to Lumia Stream and add a new command. Here you're gonna use the Streamfog action. If you're currently not seeing your lenses, just make sure to refresh and check again. For your type, either choose to activate or deactivate the lenses. Next, you can specifically choose which lenses and for how long it's going to be. I'll leave it random and at 10 seconds. Now make sure you also end the command where it's gonna take the lens off. If it doesn't, then the lenses will just stay on. From here, you're gonna go down next steps and choose what the command title you want it to be. For this example, I'll put in face, and this way anybody that types in exclamation mark face will be able to change my filter on my face. Of course, you can choose who you want this command to be for, followers, subs, maybe just your mods only. Now that you have a command, you can go ahead and use that anywhere in any alert that you choose. Here's a little extra for those that are on Twitch. We have an extension built in, so it's really easy if you wanna set it up behind bits. Head on over to our Twitch extension and do the exact same thing with adding a new command. The difference with step two is you can see that there's a drop down menu that allows you to choose how many bits you want this to be. Go through the next steps, save, and it's that simple. Now your community can have a lot of fun doing things like this.